Yes, feel the difference? <laughs> oh! Oh my <laughs> So look at the Anthony show is learning how to stretch. His hip flexors are tight. They're hurting him as he works Very out. Move your booty to the other side. Move. Nope. Turn it the other way. Yeah. So he's learning that one of the main reasons his toes like to go out. See that toe out right there? Go out to the side is because he is tight. So we're learning how to stretch those calves out, his hip flexors, and the inner thighs. There you go, turn. Turn those hips. Yes. Uh, and how many reps have you got? I don't know. Are you dead yet? There's like 10. Uh, oh. <laughs> you hear him crying? He probably doesn't post with him crying, but we're going to post his workout too. Last one each side. So as you're doing this stretch, you want to make sure your toes are straight ahead. See how his are turned out? Toes are straight ahead. So you're turning your hips towards that side that your knee is bent on and pushes the inner thighs to the ground. Get that booty to the side. Perfect. No, nope, both at the same time, Anthony. Stop cheating. Press that chest to those legs. So now he's really stretching out those calves. We're doing downward facing dog. Hold for five seconds and then relax. Go ahead and bend the legs and pop right back up. So this is a great exercise because it gets both of your calves at one time, okay? Stretching out those lats. See those lats there? Trying to pop out, press that chest. And we're gonna do this five times, that was two. There you go, get that chest close to those legs. Yes, get that full stretch. Look at, see how his knees are bending now? His knees are upset with him, his calves are like, what are you doing to me? That's the best part. There you go, get those lats in there. Yeah, as you see, one of his knees is a little bit bent more than the other. That's a tighter calf. Five <laughs> on each side. It's supposed to be difficult. It's not supposed to be easy today, Anthony. 21 thrusters, okay? That's a squat to an overhead press. 15 deadlifts. All right, now we gotta set up your deadlift bar. So go grab the other bar, because I don't wanna have to stop and break. Deadlift should be heavy. It's about 75 to 80% of your max right now. So we should just throw two plates on there. Is that 80% of your max? Can you do 15 in a row of them? Yeah. All right, then it's the perfect weight. So as you work out, you want to challenge yourself, especially when we're doing this. So in this workout here, it's all functional strength, right? So a squat to an overhead press, is deadlift, how do we pick up stuff? And then it's also front squats, being able to hold something heavy, which all of it in, real, in realism is all core strength, right? We're working your core and abs to keep you up so you don't fall over. We're getting those glutes in there, right? And then we're getting that lower back, of course. But as we're doing the thrusters and the deadlifts, we're getting that upper back as well. No, you see Anthony cheating? Anthony's cheating. No, Anthony, get a number red one. Huh? Get a red one. Anthony, get the 45. Okay, see, this is what happens in personal training. You tell the client what to do. Well, usually I'm picking up the weights, but you tell the client what to do, and they argue with you because they tell you what they can't do. Right? My job is to show you what's possible. This is a strength training workout. It's not just cardio, it's strength training as well. So we want to push behind, beyond what we're capable of, right? If our grip strength is a problem, we want to get something heavier than that, so we have to stop and reload again. And All right, you ready? I'm tired already, Tamika. All right, I'm going to record the whole workout, Anthony. You recorded the first set. All right, you ready? Okay, I squat and do that. Yep. 21. 21 times? You see that face? That's scared. Right there. He's scared. 21 times? I did it with 15s and I'm 41. Let's go, Anthony. 21 times. You gotta fix his hair. You see that? It's pretty heavy. You want 15s? I did 15s, Anthony. No, heavy. not behind your head, in front of you. It's like a front squat. No way. Like you, this? Yeah. That's good. I don't care if you have to do sets of six. We're gonna get to 21, Anthony. There you go, squat. Get those elbows up in front of the body. Overhead press. One. There you go. So this is gonna kill his cardio because it's 
heavy string for him right now. I'm missing his face. I don't know where his face went. This is the best right here. Exhale. Great. Right, we're not really excited about speed right now. We're more about form and function, getting that strength in there. You want to go to 15s? All right, because Anthony's lower back kept arching. We went down in weight, 10 pounds on each side. Here we go. We're on five. There you go, Anthony. Six. So as he goes down, what you want to do is watch that arch in his back and watch that bump wink as he comes up. Okay. Good. Seven. <laughs> There you go. So we're not really worried about speed. We're about form and function. All right, halfway there, Anthony. Let's go. Last ten. Let's go. Try to get those el get that bar to that collarbone. Good. And get those elbows up a little bit higher. So as we get the elbows up a little bit higher, what that actually does is it stretches out the lats. So you can tell when somebody has tight lats if their elbows are close to their body as they're doing something like this because they're not able to raise it up. It also shows the flexibility of their shoulders. Come on, Anthony, five more. So you inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up. As you see, his shoulders are getting tired, so he's using a little bit more leg so he doesn't have to press as well. And he's locking out over the head. Come on, exhale. Dang. All right, let's go. 15 deadlifts. No way. You see him? He's always telling me no. How are you going to get a trainer? Not sumo. What? Regular deadlifts, man. You see how he wants to take the easy route? Most people tend to do sumos because you're stronger in a sumo position and you don't have to go nearly as low. So the range of motion is lacking. You guys see Jesse in the background right there cleaning? That's Jesse. Everybody say hi to Jesse. So we're shooting for 15. We're not shooting for a 15 altogether because then that weight is too light. We want Anthony to struggle through this but be able to keep form. So I have to admit, I didn't go 225 yesterday. I did 185 yesterday. <laughs> and that's because I have a problem with grip strength. I couldn't hold on to it. But I knocked out all 15 in the second set. All right, so we're gonna watch Anthony for a couple of things. Where's his head position lined up? What's his back look like, okay? How wide are his legs? Oh, this is gonna be a loud 15, ladies and gentlemen. Shoot. Hey, push those hips forward. Don't worry about leaning back and squeeze the glutes and throw the hips forward. Come on, let's go, let's go. Four. So a lot of people like to drop the weight down. As you drop the weight down, as you can see, his body shakes as well as the weight. So that's the ground reaction force is reacting on him as well too. Now, if he wasn't stopping and pausing, that creates a problem, right? Come on, Anthony. Come on, let's go. It's not supposed to be easy, right? It's called workout for a reason, right, ladies and gentlemen? Workout. There you go. Drive through the heels. Exhale. There you go. Come on. Hey, he's doing pretty well, huh? There you go. He leaned a little bit forward on that one. Let's go. We have six more. So we just downgrade it. We're gonna to try to get them all six without stopping. There you go. Throw those hips forward, thrust them forward. There you go. See, as he thrusts those hips forward, it's not as much back lean. A lot of people get that back lean in. There we go. Awesome. All right, now we have front squats. Yeah. Keep your shoes off. We have nine. Nine? 
Yeah. You guys put something else on besides 15s. What do you want to put on? Grab a 10. I did mine with 25. So grab the greens. You're stepping on it, dog. <laughs> you see that 10 on the ground? See? The great thing about this kind of workout is that he's out of breath, right? He's starting to press fire a little bit. But he's building his reservoirs. We only have nine, Anthony, nine. Now, there's a couple things we want to watch. Head and shoulder alignment, hip, regular, hip, knees, and ankles. Ow, I just ran into the treadmill. There you go. One, two. So this is also a different lift for people who don't have the flexibility in their wrists um, to keep the weight the other way. Also, it stretches out the lats. If you guys look at his, his thoracic spine, how it's all stretched out. Those elbows become harder and harder to keep up, and he's going to start leaning more forward because of that lack of flexibility in that. All right, now we're going backwards. 15. 15 this? We're going backwards. Huh? We're going backwards. 15 and then 21. This is how a workout should feel, ladies and gentlemen. It shouldn't be fun. It shouldn't be entertaining. It should be work. But this is a quick workout. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It just forces you to go beyond what you think you're capable of. So remember, we started with the 225. Now we're down a little bit more. I can hear you. All right, you ready, Anthony? They can hear me. Y'all hear me, right? All right. We're going to record this whole thing. 15. How many? 15. There you go. Keep those knees apart. Give me more thrust from the hips, too. Three. So another thing that Anthony does well is he doesn't let those knees jog forward. A lot of people, as they come down and they can't really see it, they let those knees go forward. That's four. Okay, six. We're on six. Come on. Okay. Seven. There we go. So again, Anthony has that extension of the the lumbar spine, we don't really need that at the top. What we're really trying to do is just focus on the squeezing of the glutes and pushing the hips forward. How many was that, eight? Yeah. All right, halfway there, Anthony. Anthony's trying to show you a shot of his butt. This is how he takes a break while he's breathing. This is exactly how the workout should feel, okay? We're working multiple body parts right now. We're getting that, um, the superiliac, I mean the superiliac, we're getting the subscapularis, all that in the shoulder, right, because we're holding back, we're getting your scapular retractors, which is the middle back, you get the lower and the middle traps. This is especially good for people who have rounded shoulders. Come on, that's 10. Five more, Anthony, five more. Okay. We're also getting that lower back right. Come on, I need more butt. Concentrate on squeezing those glutes as you come up, okay? Screw your feet into the ground and drive through the heels. You guys hear Jesse? Jesse's making his own video behind us. Let's go, chest up. Good. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the true test, right here. And he's taking the timeout. He almost knocked my water off the bench. Look at my water over there. It's about to fall off the bench. Anthony doesn't even care. He can't even sit up straight. Look at him. He's dying. You see him breathing hard? Anthony is sweating. Let's see this. He says he doesn't sweat when he works out. Look at that. Sweat. This is how you should work out. Sweat is awesome. His lower back is probably killing him, right? His legs don't even know they're working out yet, but he'll feel them later. His upper back, right? His rear delts, that whole thoracic spine, all of it, right? He's tired, muscles are fatiguing. Take the tens off, Doc. Huh? Take the tens off. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys see we're at the UC, UC Merced. Where's everybody at? You see anybody in this gym?
Jesse is amazing. All right, we have 21. 21. Right? We did 21 the first time. We got to do 21 again. You see that face? That means he's already tired. Now, this is where the muscular endurance comes in. This is where form has to be on point. There you go. Two. Squeeze those abs. We did two. What about water? How are you gonna get water in the middle of a set, dog? You can have water when you're done. This is basically a 20 minute workout. Unless you're at home with one bar like I was and had to switch back and forth. Come on, that's two. 19 to go. There you go. Three. Come on, it's all core, Anthony. Hold that core tight. Exhale. Four. Five. There you go. So just so you know, a trainer's job is not to count. My job is to watch his form. And we're at seven. This is hard, isn't it, Anthony? I love these kind of workouts. The best trainers actually do most of the workouts and know how it feels before they give it to their clients to do. All right, I just did this one yesterday. So I know exactly how it feels. I have a weaker lower back, so I had to stretch after the second set of deadlifts before I was able to get to my thrusters. Okay, so today is all about complex movements. Hey, okay. all about complex movements. Nine. So the next time we work out, which will be tomorrow, okay, we're gonna isolate. So what we're learning, that's 11. 10 more, Anthony, 10 more. So in this workout, we're just going from compound to isolation. We're trying to get everything in. The only thing that we're not really getting in is the chest. You get some of those shoulders, a little bit of activation from the upper pecs, but not very much. Okay, so that's what we're going to focus on tomorrow is our chest and triceps. Everything that's really not working out today, we're going to get tomorrow. Let's go. We only have 10 more to go. Let's go, Anthony. Let's go. Tuck those hips as you go up. There you go. Keep it nice and tight. Two. There you go. Exhale. So explode. Three. Come on. Explode up, Anthony. There you go, four. Five, watch closely where his head goes as he goes up. We have five more. And then he's about to throw heavy objects at me. He hates when I make him work out like this. But that's good, we get to stretch and foam roll. We get to stretch and foam roll after this. Look at, he says that's it, but look at him. How many breaks is he taking? I can't even laugh because it was me yesterday doing the exact same thing. Come on, five more. Five more. Explode. One. Got to have that core strength to be able to keep that chest up and transfer the weight from the bottom to the top. Last one. All right, throw it up. All right, so tell the people how that made you feel, Anthony. Easy. <laughs> you hear him? He's over here lying. He's about to pass out. You see that sweat on his neck? He throwing shoes. There. Oh. Throwing his own shoes at me. <laughs> I feel like we're in a football huddle right now. Huh? So how did it feel? It was, it was a lot. It's hard. You're breathing hard. Lesson for all the trainers. Try a trainer out. They'll push you. Oh, gotta love it. Here's the Anthony show. The Anthony show. Right? Personal training at its best.
to the Anthony Show, guys. Just want to do a quick announcement before we get straight into this video, guys. I have my merch. It is out available in the U.S. only just for now. But, guys, I have a description down below of my t-shirts, my long sleeves, and my sweaters that could be found through Amazon. Love the material. It looks great, doesn't it? It's really the real thing. This is a medium on me. I am 5'8". This is also medium. Good quality. Love it. Represent, guys. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, so go check it out on the description down below. Without further ado, let's get straight into this reaction. 